All right, so this is a tutorial on how to do a few mods uh, in TapTap Revenge 3. Uh, I've been doing them in all my videos, and so tons of people have been asking, how do you speed up the taps? How do you uh, remove the theme and move the 16x up? And a few of those. So I'm going to go over all those right now. All right, so this is assuming that you're jailbroken and you have SSH turned on, which uh, if you don't know how to do that, there's a bunch of great tutorials on YouTube, you know, just search jailbreak, iPod, iPhone, and uh, it's pretty easy using Black Rain. So the program that we are going to be using is called WinSCP. Uh, just Google it, you can download it, it's free, and uh, it takes like two seconds. Um, so what you're going to do when you first open it up, it'll ask for the host name, which is actually your uh, Wi-Fi IP address. So if you go onto your iPod and click on settings and click on Wi-Fi and uh, the one that you're connected to uh, click the little blue arrow next to it and it'll show you your IP address right there so just type that in the username is root default password is Alpine and it should connect Right, now you're going to find the tap tap revenge 3 folder which is uh, you go one up you go to mobile applications and then you're going to have to find it and it can be kind of tricky the first time since they're all random and it's not the same for anyone so you kind of just have to play around opening them up um, until you find one that says tap tap in it So I just downloaded the Dragon Force uh, songs, and they're really great, but I don't like the Hannah Montana theme that came with them, because I mean, I really like Hannah Montana and all, but it's kind of distracting when I'm trying to tap, and so let's say we want to get rid of that theme. So what we're going to do is go in here to taptap.app, and click on themes, and find the TTR DJ theme and you're going to copy that onto your computer. This is the default theme and you can copy it to your computer just by dragging over here to the left and click copy. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back up to the uh, documents and open that and click on themes and here it has you know all the themes that come with the tracks you download and so how we're going to get rid of it is here's the uh, Hannah Montana theme what you're going to do is just rename the TTR DJ to be exactly the same as the one you're trying to get rid of and uh, if you want to keep this theme I'd rename it to uh, something else, just one, so it doesn't delete it when you copy it over. And then to copy the theme over, just drag it over here and uh, you want to make it so it's not going to go inside a folder. So if you put it right on the side, it'll copy it in. The next thing I like to do is uh, speed up the taps, which is uh, kind of nice for uh, some of the really fast songs where they're sort of, all the notes are sort of bunched together. Um, speeding them up, just sort of spread them out so you're not really uh, just tap spamming on the screen um, on songs like Peace Cells or Battle Royale. So to do that we're going to open the theme and click on theme.cfg which brings up this screen and we're going to search, press Control F and find window which brings you right to where you want to be. This right here is for easy, medium, and hard, uh, which is separate from the extreme. So we can change this to, I like it around uh, 1.3 usually. Um, also, if you want to change some of the easier levels, I'd change this to ease in quad, and then you can change the speed as well and click exit and save. So now if we open up 
through the fire and flames. Uh, you can see they're a lot more spread out and I like it a lot more. All right, the next thing I like to do is change the feedback colors. Uh, like it is in Tap Tap Revenge 2, you know, if you get a perfect hit, it's green. Uh, good hit, it's light blue. An okay hit, it's dark blue. That sort of thing. And that's also in the same theme.cfg file. Because that the default setting is just perfect hit is green and it doesn't show anything else. Um, I don't know why they took that out. So to change the colors, you can open up the theme.cfg file. And right here at the top is how you change them. And um, you can you know change them to whatever you want, but if you want them to be the same as in Tap Tap Revenge 2 with the light blue, dark blue, then change the OK color to 001, the good to 011, and perfect is 010. And then you also have to change it down here. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can you know play around with it, have whatever colors you want it to be, but that's the way I like it from Tap Tap Revenge 2. And click yes. And uh, as you can see, uh, it shows uh, green, blue, and uh, dark blue, like in Tap Tap Revenge 2. Uh, another thing I like to do is move up the 16x activator spot because you know sometimes it overlaps with your taps and can make you miss notes and activate it early. Um, to do that we're gonna go up from this folder and we're gonna open the game defaults file and search with control F for uh, weapon positions and it should be the first one that comes up and so you can change that uh, you know to wherever you want Matster actually has a pretty nice little website that shows you how to do that. It's uh, matster092.webs.com uh, and uh, you can just drag 16x here to wherever you want it to be and it'll give you the coordinates to use. You're just moving the y-axis if you move it up which is probably what you want to do. Uh, the spot I like it at is right there at 230 and change that to 230 and save and the last thing I like to do is um, I replace the uh, 16x with a little star, the default stars I guess with the ones from Metallica and I like that because you know um, they sort of all bunch up together uh, with the default and the Metallica ones are much smaller notes so you do that um, by going into the tap tap dot app themes and in the common theme. So you just replace the HUD matrix with mine and I'll uh, put a link in the sidebar so you can download it and use that one. And that's about it.